No, no, no. It's Kelly again, and I am back with just a little less camouflage makeup from my last video and a slightly new setup. The camera right now is set up on a ladder, a printer, Down Abbey seasons one, two, and three, two binders, coasters, a tour guide book for Italy, and the seventh season of The Big Bang Theory. I decided that I should do my first how to video. Is a makeup tutorial a how to video? It doesn't matter. So I've been living in Germany for about 14 months now and have had to drive on the Autobahn a lot. And I thought that maybe I could share with all of you the experience that I've gained as a little American driving on the big highways of Germany. If you're nervous at all about driving on the Autobahn, you can relax because my dad once called me the poster child for distracted driving and I'm not exactly proud of it. I am a terrible driver, it's bad. And so if I can do it, I'm pretty sure anyone can, even if you have cataracts or aren't even a person. I don't know, octopus hands, does that make sense? Anyway. The first thing you need to know is that Autobahn does not refer to some mythical speed limitless road that only exists in like one part of Germany. Like it basically means their highway system and you're going to have an impossible time avoiding it unless you want to spend hours and hours of your life driving through all these teeny tiny German villages that all look identical. Yes, that might sound cute and quaint at first. Trust me, after like your fifth one, you're going to be like, oh wow, another half timbered house. Ooh, another steeple. And then you're going to be like, is that the same dog that we've seen in every village being walked by the same old lady? And seriously, is that the same dog? How is that possible? I need to know. So the Autobahn has varying speed limits and I know that sounds obvious, but it goes from like 130 kilometers per hour down to like 80, back up to 100, up to 110, and all within a very, very short distance, like way shorter than you would ever imagine. So if you get distracted easily, like I do, eating food or maybe thinking about the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow, then you will probably miss the speed limits and it's very difficult to gauge off of the other cars what the speed limit is. But my German boyfriend taught me a trick which was to just do the best you can until you get to the next entrance ramp and where all those cars are entering the highway there should be another speed limit sign posted and if there isn't then cool, you're in that zone, that means you can go whatever speed you want. No, like seriously, you can go whatever speed you want, as fast as you want, I don't know, as slow as you want. There's gotta be a minimum speed limit. Who would ever go the minimum speed limit? So in America, we have this weird obsession with these super fancy fast cars, which I never understood because our speed limits on highways top out at like 70 miles per hour or maybe 80 if you're like in the middle of nowhere Montana. So you would probably expect to see these really fast cars on the German Autobahn, but you don't. You see station wagons. Station wagons rule the Autobahn. No, they don't look like the station wagons you probably had when you were like six years old with the wood paneling and all that. They're like fancy station wagons, but the point is they're station wagons. You will just be cruising along, going your speed, and then your car will just shake with absolute ferocity as a middle-aged consultant just goes screaming by you in his station wagon BMW. They don't pay for their own gas. They don't pay for their own car even. I don't know why I don't have that job. And they spend like 70% on the road. So they're basically the honey badgers of the Autobahn in that they just don't care. So speaking of speed, do not do what a lot of Americans do and just park yourself in the passing lane no matter what speed you're going. Only go into the left lane if you're going to be actively passing a car. Once you go into the left lane, start paying really close attention to your rear view mirror because if you see a car rapidly gaining on you, then that probably means he is going way faster than you and you should probably move over. And if you're not paying attention for whatever reason and you see someone flashing their lights behind you or turning on their left turn signal, that's that person trying to tell you, hey, I want to go way faster than what you're going Going, so move over and just just do it the next thing you need to know to survive the Autobahn is the entire geography of Germany because they don't label their highways with the direction of travel like we're used to so there is no I-80 East or I-5 North no it's like two signs for two different exits going in two completely opposite directions and they're both labeled as just A6 with a list of cities underneath it. If you're from Germany and you know where the heck Darmstadt is, then 
good for you and why are you watching my video? Please keep watching. But if you're like me and you're unfamiliar with all of the cities in Germany, then you're going to have some emotional moments. Now there is some organization to the labeling of the Autobahn because this is Germany after all. So the highways that run east and west are even numbered and the highways that run north and south are odd numbered. And I don't know if that's gonna come in handy to you, but you're welcome if it does. On to my favorite topic, Staus. Stau basically means traffic jam and there are all varying levels. Just a plain old Stau means heavy traffic, but if you hear Vollsprung, then that means you should probably just give up on anything that you had planned for the day because you're going to be sitting in your car for like six hours minimum. No, I'm serious, like six hours. Germans will literally keep bottles of water in their car for this exact situation. And I hope you brought toilet paper and you have no sense of shame because your options for the bathroom include the side of the highway. No, I'm serious. People will be getting out of their car, walking to the side of the highway and going to the bathroom. Imagine it. And that's how you lose your dignity. The good news is that if you're coming up to a stau, everyone will put on their four-way hazard lights so that you know you need to suddenly slow down. So the last thing you need to know is that it is illegal to pull over on the side of the autobahn. Like it is a non-option. So if you're gonna be driving on the autobahn, make sure that you have enough gas and you're not gonna have any mechanical issues. If you've completely failed at life and you have to pull over, then you absolutely better have the little safety kit in your car and set up those orange reflective triangles like immediately. Okay, cool. Well, that's basically every law that governs the German Autobahn. <laughs> I'm joking. Thanks for watching and click subscribe because I'm going to keep making videos that showcase all of my talent and knowledge. Bye! Bye. Okay, bye!